The first two-time All-American in Jackrabbit Volleyball history, Shauna Sturm provided the fuel to jettison the program to heights never before imagined. The 2001 Division II Player of the Year, Sturm guided the Jacks to the North Central Regional Championship and led the squad all the way to the national title match that season. Three times All-North Central Conference and All-North Central Region as well, Sturm ranks fourth in school history in kills, second in hitting percentage, and ninth in block assists. And her 34 kills and a 2000 win against Augustana are the most ever by a Jackrabbit. Shauna Sturm Brockman, congratulations to you, one of the newest members of the Jackrabbit Sports Hall of Fame. That sentence, saying that, you hear me utter it, what goes through your mind? It's an incredible honor, and I just feel so humbled by it, just because I know I didn't get there alone, and there were so many other people around me and beside me, and um, pushing, you know, from the fan side to the coaches to everyone else for for this to be to for this to happen, I guess. And it's just an awesome, I guess, accomplishment. And uh, like I said, I just feel very humbled by the honor. <laughs> Well, we're excited to have you as a part of the class. I ask everybody, tell me first off where you were when Justin called you and you had that conversation. I was actually parked in our high school parking lot. It was uh, right as I was going into uh, our volleyball practice. And so I kind of called him and he said, I have great news. I was like, great, what is it? <laughs> Not thinking anything to do with Hall of Fame. So and then he told me and I just remember thinking, wow, that's, that's such an honor. And I just feel very blessed, so thank you. Tell me about the path that led you to SDSU and what made you want to be a Jackrabbit. I knew I wanted to play in college. I didn't know if I was good enough to play volleyball, and basketball wasn't my passion. So uh, it was a lot of, um, you know, looking at – myself and deciding, you know, do I want to pursue this or not? And so actually I went to my high school volleyball coach and I said, do you think maybe you could send some tape of me playing at that time? It was VHS tape. Do you think you could send some tape of me playing volleyball to uh, a few colleges that I choose? And, and she said, sure. And so I didn't know she sent one to North Dakota state and one to South Dakota state. And I actually went to both and, um, Ultimately, obviously, chose SDSU just because I, I felt like it was family going there. So it was a pretty easy decision to choose South Dakota State. And um, thankfully, Coach Byrne at that time wanted me to play for her. So it was the rest is history. Well, history is a good way of putting it because the success that you were a part of, and there were so many others, uh, the, the, the Archers and the Ebnets and on down the line, that played such a role in this, but you got to be part of really a run of success unmatched in the history of Jackrabbit Volleyball. What was that experience like? Unbelievable, I guess, is the best way to describe it. And I guess the culmination of the whole thing you can put into – our match against NDSU, the regional finals, my senior year. And that was just like um, taking that match was incredible. Like there are no other words to describe it. It was just such a feeling of pride because um, from past coaches to the current coach we had at that time to all of the players that got us to that point, um, you just thought back to all of it and said, wow, I am so proud of all of these people that are around us and, and all those people that put in the hours on the court and on and off the court to get us there. And it was, yeah, I mean, that really is, the, that's, that's the best part of the whole thing. Um, well, of course, taking second in the nation, but <laughs> beating NDSU at home to go to nationals, I mean, it doesn't get much better than that. Other thing, too, is it gets so much attention, particularly in basketball, but uh, when Frost Arena gets rocking, even for volleyball, it's a special place when Jackrabbit Nation rallies around you. It really is, and we appreciated every single one of our fans that we got to show up for our volleyball matches. And I'll tell you this, from the time I started in 1998 to the time we finished in 2001, the number of fans showing up and showing their support for us and – even following us all the way to, you know, first to Fargo and then to Michigan. It was just incredible. 
and I'm forever grateful for those people and for them to believe in us and follow us along our journey. Shauna, tell me about your family. Well, my husband, his name is Scott, and we have three boys. Jack is the oldest, and he is going to be 15 very soon. Benjamin is our middle son, and he is 12 years old. And Sam is our youngest, and he is nine, almost 10. Uh, it tugs at the heartstrings, but particularly uh, you and I uh, share that we both have had uh, little ones who have had health issues. And uh, if you wouldn't mind, I I'd love to hear some of the story of Ben and uh, what he's been through and what he's conquered. Sure. So when Ben was four, um, he said his hips hurt really bad and he didn't want to walk. And at first we thought, you know, it's pretty typical of his age. It's probably growing pains. And so we didn't you know, think too much of it, gave him some Tylenol and kind of went on our way. Well, his symptoms progressed and he went to not walking at all. And so we, you know, obviously took him into the ER, got him checked out. And um, at first they just thought it was a random virus that he was suffering from. But after some more tests came through, we had a fantastic doctor in New Orleans who um, pretty much found it and uh, said that he had cancer. So they found leukemia cells in his blood. So from New Orleans, we, um, Sam, Ben and I flew up to Children's Hospital in Minneapolis. We were helicoptered straight up there. And within an hour of us landing, our doctor up there, our oncologist up there, Dr. Richards, he had confirmed that it was in fact leukemia. And so from there, we began uh, the process of, first of all, you know, getting over the overwhelming and devastating and just all the feelings that go along with the unknowns, like what's happening with my child, what's going to happen, where do we go from here, um, what kind of treatment options are there, and really it was, it was really hard for my entire family, not just our immediate family, but our entire family. Um, three years later, uh, we got to September 13th of 2015. And in front of literally hundreds of our friends and family, we watched Ben take his last chemo pill, and it was a celebration like no other. It's awesome. Shana, when you look back at your career at South Dakota State, what are you proudest of? All of it, really. Um, from start to finish, our team going from – you know, making it to regionals and just not being able to get that last game to get us into the national tournament. Uh, and then finally doing it our senior year was just a feeling like a such accomplishment, a feeling of such accomplishment that um, it's really hard to put into words. We just believed, and that was our word going into that last match. Greta and I knew that we could take this team to the next level. We knew it, and we just – personally had to make them believe it too. And so that entire uh, match against uh, the Bison, we sat in the timeouts, we set it as we you know, gathered in the middle of the court between plays, believe, everyone just needs to believe. And I remember yelling at Kelly Holman when she came in because she was an incredible blocker. Like she was just great at blocking. And I looked at her and I'm like, believe we can do this. Let's get these blocks and let's make this happen. And, Sure enough, we did it. Speaking of Greta and all those names you just went through, uh, it's such an important part of your life, but it doesn't just end when your college career is over. You still keep in touch with many of them, right? I do. You know, probably not as often as we should, but I think Greta and I have remained the closest. Um, and so I'd say probably once a month we send each other a message here or there. She actually just texted us, uh, Liz Archer and I, last night, and we were um, going back and forth about some – some fun things that we remember actually from our freshman year. And so it's those things too, that the friendships that I'm really proud of too, that you, that you make. And no matter where you are in life, you can pick up those girls and call them and text them, whatever. And it's like things have never changed. Well, Shauna, we could tell stories for days and days, but uh, congratulations on behalf of all of us here at South Dakota State Athletics. Uh, can't tell you how excited we are to welcome you and the rest of your class in to the Hall of Fame. 
Thank you so much.